Oh, what? Gosh, do I look uncomfortable enough? Because I am. How's that? Hello. I don't know how to start this. It's been too long. Hold on. Oh. Oh, gosh. Let's see when the last video was that we posted. Can you see that? You probably can't. It was six months ago. It's been six months since we passed, post, posted, six months since we posted the last YouTube video to our YouTube channel. We just went away and, uh, and that was the end. So I thought maybe, um, maybe we should tell everybody why we went away. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why we went away, why we're coming back and what we have in store. Lots of good things, I tell you that much. I guess we'll start with the reason why I stopped posting videos to YouTube and we kind of stopped social media altogether. There's three main reasons that we stopped. One, we got burned out. It just didn't feel right and we just didn't like it. So we just got burned out and thought, let's just not do it anymore. Ever again. Until today. The second reason was because so many other people that we knew who were living this lifestyle of nomadic lifestyle we're doing the same thing. They were all trying to get views and Facebook posts and YouTube subscribers and all these other things. And we just thought, ah, is that what we're doing? We just feel like everyone else who's trying to get seen and get an audience built. And, and we didn't like that feeling. So we thought, eh, let's just stop. I don't want to do that anymore. The third reason, the most honest reason, there weren't enough people watching to make it worthwhile because we put a quite a bit into our shows. Like they were pretty well produced. Look at this. And I just got my shoes in. This is my show. So. What's this? A bat? bat? Our shows were pretty stinking good, but YouTube I think is in this place where people don't really care about like whether your content is edited well. I think we're moving to a place where YouTube will, but it's still in this place where it's like, eh, we don't care. Just hold up the camera and talk, stupid puppet. Puppets are creepy. Anyway, so it just got to this place where it was a lot of work and we had to weigh the pros and cons of like continuing and was it worth it and where were we going with this? What was the point and all these questions and we just thought, ah, no. Never mind. I guess there's four, actually, now that I think about it. The fourth reason was because, I don't know if you remember this, but back in November of 2016, we did a Kickstarter campaign where we asked you guys and friends and family to support a film that we were producing called The Suburban Pilgrims Film. It's always been a dream of mine to make my own film. That film is, in fact, almost done. It's a year later, almost. Well, in November it will be. And uh, we've shot pretty much everything we need. I'm in the editing process of that film now. And so what happened is because I do video editing for a living, that's how we support ourselves on the road, most of my computer time goes to clients who are paying me to edit videos. And the window of time that I have to edit other projects like Suburban Pilgrims film and the Suburban Pilgrims show that we were putting out um, goes into that window. And when we did the Kickstarter campaign and I started editing the film, that window that used to be filled with Suburban Pilgrims show and that sort of thing was now filled with the Suburban Pilgrims film editing. And so I didn't really have time to put out a show because I was editing the film. Here's the thing. So we have the film and it's, I'm in the editing process of it, but it's really difficult to edit because I do video editing for a living. And so it's kind of like that old, I love old people analogies. And one of them that I love the most is, uh, is well, you know, that's not it. That wasn't even, those weren't even words. An auto mechanic's car is never fixed because he's always fixing other people. It's, it's more like, an auto mechanic's car. That doesn't sound like an old person. An auto mechanic, no, nope. auto mechanic's car. That's, anyways, it has something to do with an auto mechanic's car is never fixed because he's always fixing other people's cars. It's kind of that way with me with editing. I'm always editing other clients' work. When it comes to my own work, it tends to get pushed off, especially when things get busy like they are right now. But that's not good because I want to get this film edited. I want to get it done and out there. And so the best way for me to do that, I thought, was to do what I do with work. I have a deadline of when that video has to be done. And with Suburban Pilgrim's film, there isn't really a deadline. So I need to keep myself accountable for editing every week. And I thought one great way I could do that is to start the YouTube channel up again and the Facebook page and every week, every week, probably on Mondays, 
come out with a new video that is an update for the film. Not just an update of where I'm at with it, but actually show you a piece of the edited film that I'd worked on the week previous. But it's a piece of the film that I've edited from the past week to make progress on the film. And what I want to do is have you folks, whoever cares, um, watch, I don't know, just like be a part of it. Tell me what you think of these pieces. So that'll be like a weekly kind of show on YouTube that's going to be an update for the film. The rest of the week, what I'm planning to do, because I don't have time to put out like nice edited videos anymore, I'm planning to just do vlog style videos on our Facebook page. My Facebook page personally, and also a Suburban Pilgrims Facebook page, which I believe is just facebook.com slash Suburban Pilgrims. So I'll be posting sometimes daily, sometimes a couple a week, just vlog style videos for the Facebook Live kind of thing. Because we are still in our trailer, we're living in it, and I can't tell you what we think of it. It's been two years since we lived in our trailer, and I don't want to tell you what we're planning to do, what we think about living in a trailer for two years, because that's going to be part of the film. Really cool stuff. I'm very excited to bring it back, but I know it's a lot of work and a lot of commitment. So I've taken a lot of, I've actually thought about doing this for months now, actually since we stopped. I've debated whether I should start again or not, and it's taken me six months to get to the place of being like, I think I'm going to do it. Because I don't want to do it and then stop. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it for realsies. So that's what we're doing.